Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Scarlet Spider issue 24. And before I start talking about this issue, I do have a lot of updates. Uh, first update, of course, is episode 24 of Comic Uno is up on Dark Avenger Inc. Be sure to check that out because there's a lot of exclusive comics for uh, Comic Uno this week. Uh, which is on Dark Event Drink, so I'm going to tell you the exclusive comics, but before that, just want to mention that Comic Con Episode 25 is next week, and I will be doing a poll on Dark Event Drink. Uh, that video will be annotated, but probably be up Saturday. Um, and I'm going to be doing a poll for what comic I usually don't read that should be part of Episode 25, do something special for Episode 25. Uh, but let's talk about those exclusive comics, which is The Flash Issue 25, part of Zero Year, Green Team Issue 6, Red Lanterns, issue 25. Teen Titans, issue 25. Avengers Assemble, issue 21. Hawkeye, issue 14. Nova, issue 100, slash, issue 10. Then we got Wolverine X-Men, issue 38. And some digital comics, Morning Glories, issue 35. And Sidekick, issue 4. So those are digital comics. Uh, but let's talk about Scarlet Spider, issue 24. Um, cover's pretty cool. I like the art here. Um, you know, pretty plain cover. And I actually thought this was the last issue. Uh, next month is the last issue. I don't know why I thought this uh, this month was the last issue. Maybe because Venom ended last month. Uh, I don't know why I thought that. But there is one more issue after this. And... Uh, Cool cover. Let's see if I like the story. Because Scarlet Spider is one of those series that either it's a really great issue or, um, or it kind of sucks. Uh, it's always up and down type series. Uh, so let's talk about what happened in this issue. So, we get to see Kane, of course, being a little broding here and, uh, be like, I'm a villain. I almost killed my friend Donald. Uh, we don't really know what's happening to Donald right now. He's still in the hospital. And, uh, of course, uh, Wallace, his, uh, husband, who's part of the supporting cast, has been, you know, very upset. He kind of wants to kill Kane after this. And we're seeing that aftermath also. And then we get to see some craziness. Um, we do get to see some more story. Um, we get to see Arsalys being replaced by this woman, uh, this unknown woman. I don't know her name, but, uh, maybe she's part of Kane's past. I don't know, but she's this darkness type character. And, uh, then we have another character, Zoe, who was in, I would say, a couple of story arcs ago, who was the, the daughter of this rich guy, um, who wants to kill Kane. She blows up the, the apartment. Uh, in the last page of this episode, in this issue. Uh, so we have that story going on, and then we have something going on with Arsley. Her powers are making her have these visions of a serpent, and, uh, her powers are going kind of crazy. Uh, and then, of course, we have the, Wall the Wallace stuff going on. So, I thought this issue was pretty good. I liked it. Um, for, I would say the first half. Um, you know, once Annabelle was saying, oh, let's just have sex, Kane, uh, I thought that was a little weird. So I'm like, oh, that's so out of character. And I was going to talk about that, but then I read the ending and it wasn't Annabelle at all. And uh, I thought there was just a lot of story going on at once, which is a problem, I think, towards the end of this issue and why I did give this a little lower of a grade than I wanted to. Uh, because I enjoyed it. You know, there's a lot of things coming to a head here. Um, we did get less of bro um, brooding Scarlet Spider, which is good, uh, especially for Kane. I think that's where he's at his worst when he's always complaining and depressed. Um, and we had a little less of that, um, even though he did um, almost kill his friend. He is becoming, he's guilty of it, but wasn't him always complaining about it, um, which I was happy to see. And, uh, there's some fun stuff here, you know, uh, when Scarlet Spider tries to burn his costume, and Arsley's like, why is it not burning? Um, I think the saving grace of this issue probably was Arsley, um, in my opinion. I thought at least she had some laughter, um, and I, I really enjoyed her parts, and I, I've been curious of well, what the hell is she, and uh, I would be really disappointed if we don't find out by the next issue what the hell is she, because uh, that's something that's been going on since issue one. Um, and now going to the part that I didn't really so much like is that it felt very cluttered, the ending. Uh, a lot of story arcs going on at once. Zoe's story arc, which really was that needed, uh, made him 
make a dramatic ending, sure. Uh, the Wallace story arc, which totally was understandable. Uh, but then someone replacing um, Annabelle, which really wasn't needed. Any, you know, really wasn't needed. And I think this issue would have been a lot better if it was just the Arsley story and the Wallace story. Because that makes sense. It's about the supporting cast, which is a main part of Scarlet Spider going towards its end. That we won't see the supporting cast, except probably Arsley, because I think she's in New Warriors. Um... So, uh, I didn't think that was a great ending for, uh, the second to last issue. Um, I think they are cramming a little bit too much. Uh, the art was pretty good here. It's the same art we usually get with Scarlet Spider. Um, there's some weird faces like this. Uh, but overall, I do enjoy the art for Scarlet Spider. And, uh... I'm going to give this a 3.5, you know, I think I am being a little generous because I, I do feel like it was way too cluttered in the end, but overall I feel like I did enjoy the story enough, and uh, I don't know if I'm anticipated about the last issue after this, uh, but I'm still anticipated because I've been following Scarlet Spider, but if I just read this issue solo and... I don't know if I'd be so anticipated after that cliffhanger. Um, we'll have to see. I really hope this series ends on a good note, and, uh... I don't know. We'll have to see. So, I give this a 3.5. I do say pick it up because a lot of stuff happened. I might not agree on it, but a lot of stuff do happen. Um, so, 3.5. I say pick it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and their end situations. And don't forget to like me on Facebook. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.